Investigation 1. You notice patterns in the shadow cast by an object throughout a day in the Sun's shadow time-lapse video. In this investigation, you will construct an explanation for the cause of one of those patterns. We will use a model to simulate the pattern, and to represent Earth's surface in our model, we will use a diagram on the template for Investigation 1, which is shown. In the model, a flashlight will represent the sun. Here I have a flashlight on which I've taped a piece of pipe cleaner, which I'll explain the reason for that a little bit later. Your teacher will give you a copy of the template on which you will record data. The diagram is a partial model of Earth's surface looking down from above. The circle, as you see here, represents the horizon and the area inside the circle represents the ground. The horizon is where the sky seems to meet Earth's surface. You usually can't see the horizon because buildings, trees, and other objects get in the way. However, if you are on an ocean beach, when you look out to sea, the sky will appear to meet the water. This is the horizon, as the surface of a body of water is part of Earth's surface. And if you are on a ship out at sea, out of the sight of land, as you look all around, the horizon would appear like a circle around the ship. On our model, you can see compass directions have been labeled, and these are for reference, north, north, east, east, and so on to northwest. The object that will cast the shadow in the model will be a wooden stirrup. This object on the real Earth could be something like a flagpole. I'm going to place the stirrup on the large dot in the center of the diagram. And I'll place it so that it is vertical, sticking straight up. However, I need something to hold it into place. So I'll take a small piece of modeling clay and press it down. And then I can insert the stirra so that it's vertical, sticking straight up. And hopefully this will stay in place. You've noticed that the sun is seen in different parts of the sky throughout a day. I'm going to shine the flashlight sun on the stick from four different positions above the horizon, simulating the change of the sun's position over the horizon throughout a day. You will observe the stick's shadow as the sun shines from each position and record this data by drawing the shadow on the partial model of Earth's surface on your copy of the template. So that I'm changing only one factor, I'll keep the sun at the same height above the ground. To do this, I taped a 10 centimeter piece of pipe cleaner to the end of the flashlight. Keep in mind that throughout the day, the sun's height in the sky changes in a pattern. However, this height is not a linear distance that can be measured using a ruler. It's actually an angle, and we'll explore this pattern in investigation two. Now I'll remove the template and replace it with one on which I've labeled four positions. You can see that I've labeled X1 is southeast, X2 is south, X3 is southwest, and west is labeled with X4. Label the four positions on the horizon, on the horizon as shown on the template on your copy of the template. Your teacher will pause the video to give you time to label these four positions. Now I'll turn off the lights in the room so the shadow will be easier to see and so that we won't have any other shadows. Now I will hold the flashlight over position X1. Here is our stick. And now we can see the shadow of the stick. It is going from here to there. So that I can see it better, I will now trace over that squiggly line with my marker and label it position one. Draw the shadow on your diagram and label it position one. Your teacher will give you time to do this by pausing the video. Next, I will hold it over south on the model. 
And again, you can see, you can see the shadow going from here to there. So what I will do is I will draw in that position of the shadow using my marker. And this one, I'm going to label position, or I'm going to label this shadow too. Next, I'll hold, hold the flashlight at the same distance above the horizon in this direction. So now this is from the southwest position labeled X3. And I can now trace the shadow and label that 3. Finally, I'll hold it over the west position. Again, the height is the same. And now I can see the shadow over here. And I'll trace it like so and label it Shadow 4. Now your teacher will provide you with some time to complete the investigation. One, how does the position of the sun affect the direction of a shadow student recording page?